Hello, this is Lord Dog. Yes, it is, and welcome to another Don't Starve. Uh, I'm answering some questions. Uh, before I do that, though, I have got an announcement to do, and I have got a question to answer. But before I do that, I just want to fill in a something, some information I missed on the last questions answered thing, when I was asked about what would be one of the best foods for winter. I said bacon and eggs. And I told you a way to get eggs, which was by giving morsels to a um, to the birds, and you'd get eggs from them, which is true. You know that's not a lie, of course. That that is right. But there is also a uh, another way to uh, to do it, and I missed it out. I was actually got into a, a, a chat with. Um, with a viewer called Nathan, who actually was talking, we were kind of talking about uh, things you could use, and it made me realise that I'd, I'd not, to I'd only told you about giving the birds morsels, and that would, and that would do, and that's how you got eggs. Now the problem with give, with keep killing all these rabbits to give to the birds, and then you've got to put, I mean, it's, it costs basically three rabbits for every uh, bacon and eggs because you kill two. To get to give to the birds to get two eggs, and then you put one in the crock pot. So each time you're using three, and that's all going on your naughtiness rating. That's going to eventually bring Krampus down on you. Now, there is something else you can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that's will do campfire. I don't need either way. Campfire, fire pit doesn't make a difference. You can use monster meat. Now monster meat is classed as a bad as like evil. So it doesn't uh, count towards your naughtiness rating. So it won't bring Krampus and it won't annoy Krampus. So if you've got a couple of spider nests and you've got some traps down, you can just, just keep bringing the spiders in, collecting plenty of monster meat. Now this is the important thing though. You have to cook it. Do not take uncooked monster meat. If you just take uncooked over, it will just, it will just eat it and give you nothing. So what you've got to do is you've got to give a cooked, and as you see, egg, egg. So there you go. So that's another way of actually getting eggs. If you think you've killed too many rabbits, or you're afraid you've killed too many rabbits, or you might even hear that, that wind blowing to say you have, then, you know, stop killing them with the, uh, you know, stop killing the, more, the uh, rabbits. And just burn some monster meat, just burn some monster meat up, that'll do it. Now if you're wondering what world I'm on, I'm just going to explain quick, quickly. This is a world I've started up, just started up. I'm going to use this to answer these questions because I can't always, it depending on what you ask me, I might kind of be in a position where I cannot get the ingredients I need. And I, I refuse to cheat on the shipwreck game or the... Wolfgang game that's about 300 days now. I'm not going to do that. But on this one, because it's brand new, I don't mind using the console commands and actually, you know, spawning things into the game for this. Because I'm only here to... I'm only using this to answer questions. I'm not using this to play properly. So I can spawn things in. I've spawned all these in. I've spawned, you know, and up here, I've got some beefalo that I've spawned in. Although they have actually spread out now, which is a good thing. There's 20. That's what I put in. And this was spread out nicely. And I'm now going to show you... Oh, no, no, no. My announcement first, sorry. Let's get that out of the way. So, I was asked about the Don't Starve The Return series I started. I did three episodes of it. And then I had a lot of people asking me if I wanted to do Shipwrecked. Or if I was going to play Shipwrecked. So, I stopped playing the um, <clears throat> that Don't Starve The Return. And instead, I started playing Shipwrecked. Well, I got asked on the third episode, when's the fourth episode coming up? Because I've just started a game myself, and this was helping. And I didn't think about that. I didn't think that people, that there might be some new players now on Don't Starve. It's been a long time. I, I, I didn't play Don't Starve for over a year. Or maybe a couple, no, probably over a year. And I don't, so it's, it's really understandable that quite a few new players came in. So having 
a new and you know a, a vanilla a vanilla matter uh, don't starve starting up would help them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring that back i'm going to but i can't carry on with the return series this is the bad news i went to try and load up the world and for some reason the world was corrupt it would not load in it just kept saying there were an error so i cannot carry on that season so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start what i'm going to call episode season two and i'm going to start up or I'll think of something season two or, you know, second time round or whatever. I'll think of a, 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 a title for it. And what I'll do is I'll start a vanilla Minecraft... Uh, Minecraft, damn. Oh, damn game. I'll start a vanilla Don't Starve from the start and I will go through it. I'll get us back, don't worry, to where it were. If I have to do half hour videos, I'll do that. But I will get us back to where we were and then I'll carry on and I'll show you how to prepare for winter and all that kind of thing how to hunt what to do what to build up and all that so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to bring it back you might have to wait a little while because i've got to really start everything up again and i have got the collab videos to put up i know accurate and uh, willow west have been posting them i haven't posted any recently it's not that i'm not going to i've still got the footage and i'm still going to be putting it up it's just that with doing the questions and answers thing and uh this is and another one of these now and also showing that world off and all that kind of thing the i have actually as you know my my speeds are really slow my upload speed is really slow my download speeds really slow so i can only really do one video a night and since i wanted to get these questions answered thing i'm a fell a bit behind but please go and watch accurizer's video go and watch willow west video of our collabs you know, I will be putting mine up. You can still come and watch mine if you want when they do go up. If you want to watch my perspective. But, you know, I, I'm going to have to ask you for your patience while I sort this out. Right, now. So that's the announcement done. And I've explained about the monster meat with the birds. So that's good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cover the beefalo. Now, I was asked by Rebecca, how do you kill beefalo? Because she's uh, she's not killed beefalo before. She, she led some hounds back once and they did... Uh, attack the beefalo and manage to kill one, uh, one or two. But the problem is that she's never actually killed one herself. Right, uh, Rebecca, the thing is, and for anybody else who, who doesn't know, as you know, beefalo are non-aggressive. Here's the stats. Beefalo are non-aggressive. They have 500 hit points. Now, if you build, say, five blow darts, you can actually shoot one of these five times and kill it. That's not feasible. It's a lot to build up a blow dart. It's not worth it building them up just to kill a beefalo. Right? Now, so that's one way. You could throw a boomerang at one and get its attention. But that's just going to do the same. You're still going to have to fight it anyway. So what I would say is the best way to fight it is to just fight it. Now what will happen is when you hit a beefalo, it will run after you. And it swings its horns at you. At that point in time, <clears throat> it stands still and does nothing for a few seconds. In that time, you can hit it four times. Now, if you've not fought beefalo before, just hit it three and then move away. Or if you feel brave, if you feel brave, hit it the fourth if you wish. But make sure you move away then, and then just uh, and then just keep repeating that process. Let it catch. It will catch up. It'll swing. As soon as it swings, turn back. Now, you can click on it to attack it, but what I tend to do is press the F key. And I press the F key because that is your auto attack. Now, it won't... I don't know if it'll auto attack a, a beefalo. It might be if you've got your cursor over it. No. Right, it won't attack a beefalo. It won't auto attack a beefalo. Yeah, I'm pressing F key. You can hear it. So, if I click on the beefalo, it will attack it. But if I uh, press F, it won't. But if the beefalo is aggressive towards you, then pressing F... You will turn and hit it. And as I say, hit it four, about four times. Now, how do we get a beefalo away from the rest? Well, think about how, say, something like a lion attacks. It, it circles the prey. And you've got to look at these as a prey. You're, you're the predator. So you've got to look at it, and you've got to move round. And you're looking for that one that's separate from rest, like this one. Uh, and you'll, you'll just move round them. And you're looking for what that one that separates. That one's walking away. You know, so keep your eyes out for the one you want. When you find the one you want, hit it. Now the thing is, 
beefalo, the detection range of all the other beefalo is massive. If you hit a beefalo, it's a good chance if there's any other beefalo in the area, they're coming. But the good thing about beefalo is they don't keep the attention long. The only one that will keep following you is the one you hit. The others will break off quite quickly. They'll get bored quite quickly. But you need to pick one that's got a bit of distance from the others. So that they can get bored really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this one. And I'm going to run away. Now these will back off pretty quick. As soon as they do, slow down and let that beef, let this beefalo hit you. And let, well, not hit you, but let it chase you. Now as soon as it, as soon as it swings, one, two, three, four, move away. Let it swing again. Get ready. There we go. One, two, three, four. Move away. Swing again. One, two, three, four. Added five. One, two. And that's it. That's all you need to do. I've actually got the horn, which is good. <coughs> Excuse me. As you know, so I can actually use that to to summon the beefalo. I am the beefalo king. Love me. Follow me. I am the Pied Piper. Come on, Beefalo. Anyway, so let's just play it again. Beefalo. Love me. Come to me. I am your master. Yay. So, this is bait. <laughs> Forget this. This is just me having a bit of fun. So, that's how you actually kill a Beefalo. That's how you do it. You want to find one that's separate, hit it, run away. The others will come, will come, but they'll get tired quick. As soon as they start to walk away, kind of oh, he's joined others. Kind of slow down a little bit and let him catch you up. Then move him away when he takes his swing. Hold F. One, two, three, four. Move away. Let him swing. One, two, three, four. Move away. Actually, that was five. One's coming down. He'll get tired. Just run away. Don't try and hit it yet. Let that one move away. Now we come back into it. One, two, three, four, five, dead. Here's another one. Oh, he's, he's gonna. Well, I'm also taking while he's here. So you saw there, he, he was. He's decided he wants to fight. One, two, three, four, move away. One, two. So that's all you keep doing. Move away. <laughs> and done. And that is how you, that is the easiest way to fight Beefalo. It's like I say you can use blow darts, but there's no point. Blow darts just are just um, they just take too much messing about to make them. And hounds aren't just aren't common enough. They come like every so many days, and that's pointless. So the easiest way is to just get yourself a log suit, get yourself a spear, and fight. Now let's say you're really bad at kiting. Let's say you're really bad at just moving away and then turning in and fighting it. And it's, they seem to keep hitting you. Okay. Well, log suits are pretty tough. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to actually move, get one away again. And I'm going to show you what a log suit can do. Let's just separate one. Let's go and have a look if we can find one that's separate. We're doing it again now. We're starting to pick the prey. So let's look for one that's separated. That one. No, that one's following that one. Sometimes you, you have to run around a while, but you will find one. You will find one. And then when you do, here you go, he's, he's separate. Hit it. Right, so, dodge that. Now, he's pissed off more than the others. The others, forget that hit, it doesn't matter. The others will walk away, but he'll keep chasing you, the one you hit. Because he's, uh... I think what's remember, I've got three beefalo hitting me here. And if you look at my health... I've hardly lost anything. Lost one more. Now there's only one more to get rid of. Yeah, he's lost interest. Right, so watch, watch this. I'm just going to hold the F key down. And we're just going to toe-to-toe tank it. Ready, go. <laughs> there you go. It's not that actually. It's not actually that hard to um, solo a beefalo if you can. All you want to do is basically be to separate them. If you can separate them, you'll be fine. But it's not actually that hard. You can just stand toe to toe with one and just swing, and it will kill it. But if you feel like putting a bit of, you know, a bit of skill into it, then yeah, try kiting it, practice it, 
and uh, it will in the long run help you out because the thing is it's not just these I mean though you have to you know there's way there's ways of fighting pigs there's ways of fighting hounds there's ways of fighting things like Krampus and things like that you know they all they all have varying tactics and the best one for this is just the kiting maneuver just do it and if you don't want a kite just stand toe to toe the important thing is that you manage to get one from the herd if you manage to get one from the herd then it's actually going to be really easy for you from there to do that but remember one other thing i'm going to give you one final warning before i go beefalo have a naughtiness rating of four and remember so remember you can get krampus coming if you keep killing beefalo if you're like oh look at all this meat i mean look at that i've killed a few and i've got 16 meat if that was in a proper game and i wasn't actually spawning things in that would actually be an amazing thing to have 16 meat that could keep you going for a long time so you know so it kind of gets like oh this is a good thing this is an easy thing it's easy meat but it's four points on your naughtiness rating and if that gets high enough, I'm not going to go into naughtiness rating and how that works unless you you need to know and you ask me to teach it and to explain it, then I will. But otherwise, I'll just say it's, it goes on to your naughtiness rating. And if Krampus comes, that can be a really annoying thing. You know, for those that have met Krampus, you know how bad he can be. So uh, don't kill too many. You know, if you want to kill just a few for like a beefalo hat, because of course a beefalo hat, which is excellent, by the way, for winter. It's a great winter hat, something like 240 on the on the heat rating, which is like, and the only other thing that's, that gets that is the puffy vest. So this, it's really good to have, but you need a horn for that. So you do need to kill beefalo to get the horn. So uh, there you go. Anyway, guys, hope that's answered your questions. If you've got any other questions you want to ask, then please feel free to ask it, and I will answer it as soon as I can. And uh, so you take care, and I'll see you next time. Keep an eye out for the for the for the other for the new series starting up, where I play vanilla. And as I said, remember if you want to see the collab my collaboration the collaboration I did with Willow West and Acuraz, go to their channels and watch it on their channels, and uh, then you can watch it on mine when I post it. So uh, we'll see you soon. You take care, and goodbye for now.